This time on Custom Works, we're going to be making a start on covering that tornu bed all in aluminium so it looks like one massive block of alley. Let's get to the workshop. Right then, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to cover this onu uh, on the bed. Uh, now, we've already made it and it works nicely. It's so just made in plywood. So on those gas rams, works really nice. And what I've been doing is when I've had some fiberglass resin left over, I've been painting this in fiberglass resin so it's covered in a fair few coats. And this should be super waterproof. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a contact adhesive and then some aluminium sheet. I'm going to edge all this up in aluminium. It's going to look really nice. But first off, there are a few bumps and stuff. So I'm just going to run over with a sander, make sure it's all smooth, all nice, ready for the island. Obviously I'm not sponsored by anything, but sometimes I do buy a bit of kit that is just so good. But it's 3MDL and uh, has the um, detachable dust bag. That piece of kit is so good, it literally weighs like, um, I know, it probably weighs the same as like just a sanding block, it really is fantastic. Quite expensive, but for the amount I do, totally worth it. So. If you've got a rubbish old DA, invest in a 3M one or something really good, it really does make a lot of difference. And it seems to use a lot less air from the compressor than my old DA. It keeps its speed up really cool. Right then, so what I've done, I've wiped off all the dust, gave this a sand down, got any high spots off it, anything like that. And now I'm ready to put this bit of aluminium, which is going to go around the edge here and I've bent it so it fits onto there and it all fits nice I've got my curve good I'm not bothered about the joins or anything I'll cut them in afterwards so let's get it stuck on we're going to stick this on with some contact adhesive and the contact adhesive we're going to use is this 3M stuff which is a water based contact adhesive uh, goes on really nice with the brush paints on nice and thin leave it for about 20 minutes and then it really grabs, like really grabs, you only get one go at it. That should be good enough to do all this stuff. Sort of stuff that you used to do like kitchen worktop, laminating, something like that. So yeah, I've left all this uh, impact adhesive to dry for about half an hour and uh, look, it's totally dry. In fact, it doesn't feel sticky, all this stuff. And now what I'm going to do, put it on there and it's all going to go great. Okay, now to do the other side. Um, just to make the bend, what I've been doing, I just uh, oh, bend it round like that. It's only aluminium, you know. Give it a bit of a... And that's how I get that bend.
Right, and so, I've glued all this on. Some of it, though, is super springy, like, just after the curve. I've had to put some mitre fix down and just fix that back because this glue's oh, just not quite man enough. This, you know, not enough um, surface area uh, just to hold that back. So I'm just going to run around this top edge with a bit of mitre fix, just to make sure that's really solidly bonded. We've got the edge on. Now, to think you're ever going to get this edge around a piece of wood um, absolutely perfect, it's just never going to happen. So, this is a little bit proud, this is a bit proud, this join's quite scruffy as well. It's nice and parallel, but look, we've got, we've got a bit of glue hanging down there, and this, and this isn't level. So, reason for this is obviously wood's wood, so wood moves a bit. Also, the aluminium, um, to have a strip of aluminium cut like this, you know, within a millimetre, even down, um, down the guillotine, the guillotine is always going to run out a tiny bit. So to get things looking really nice like this, always, um, I know, I always just sort of work that sort of thing in. So now, what I know is that I've got to grind around here and get this perfectly level with the timber. So what I'll do is grind it with the angle grinder and then sand it. I'll also grind this bit flush at the bottom. And then once I'm happy that this edge flows into this edge, then we can put the top layer of aluminium on. Okay, so I've covered all this in the contact adhesive. That's dried off, totally dry. And then I've also covered the alley cover. I've also made these cutouts for the hinges. Uh, hinges which are here. But the hinges would have just held it off five mil, so drop those cutouts in so we can slide it up. Right, let's drop it on, see if it fits. Okay, so got the alley on. Uh, that went pretty good, seems to be all stuck down. So what's left to do now is to trim this up a bit. For this, I'm gonna take the protective covering off um, because I just don't want it to melt on. But all of this is gonna be DA'd over just to give it that sort of dull aluminium look when it's done. So let's get this off, let's get it trimmed up. Aluminium's on, took the protective cover off just so it don't melt when I cut it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut along here underneath and get it probably just a couple of mil off of this edge and then I'll sand it back so I get a nice precise join between this, the top aluminium, and this side aluminium.
Right then, so after quite a bit of uh, cutting and sanding and a bit of grinding to get this back, we've got it back and it's looking quite good. However, there are some tiny like hairline sort of lines there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a bit of body filler in there, just so that they're just so that they're filled, and you know there's no chance of water getting in. Okay then, so what I'll do, um, I'm going to leave this to dry, leave this filler to dry, and then what I'm going to do is do a lot more sanding on this. Also, of course, I'll be doing this fiddly little bit across there, all that's to do. So that's all we're going to do on this for this week. Next time we'll be finishing it, uh, getting all this really nicely sort of matted off, and then we're going to be putting some uh, matte 2K clear on it so it looks just right. Okay, that's it. Next time we'll be getting all that stuff finished off. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, or a thumbs down if you don't like it, you know what I mean? Not everyone's gonna. Also, uh, click that bell icon for regular updates. Until next time, thank you very much, and good night.